Have you been to the gas station recently and filled up your car? What is going on? Oil prices have been going up, which means gas prices are higher too. In the first part of 2024, the global price of a barrel of West Texas Intermediate Crude has risen above $90 a barrel. This is a 15% rise since the beginning of the year. This in turn has led to higher gas prices, which according to AAA, are also up 15%, the national average now at $3.57 per gallon. There are a few reasons why oil prices are rising. On one hand, there are conflicts in places like Ukraine and the Middle East, which are disrupting oil supplies. On the other hand, the United States, the world's largest oil producer, might not be able to make as much oil as before because of lower prices last year, which led to less investment in production. Lower prices and still high interest rates have discouraged new investment in the oil industry, which is evident in steeply declining oil rig counts and aging refineries. At the same time, more parts of the world are starting to grow economically again, which means they need more oil. This, along with other factors like increased air travel, increased vacation, increased travel spending, and greater consumption, which requires more shipping of products around the globe, are all increasing the demand for oil. Going forward, falling U.S. output and rising global demand could push oil prices even higher. However, historically higher oil prices don't always mean the economy will do poorly. It's possible that even if oil goes over $100 a barrel, major oil producers will start making more oil because they can get bigger profits. And this in turn ultimately caused the price of oil to fall. Overall, higher oil prices could cause some short-term problems like making things more expensive for consumers and slowing down the economy. Since oil is used in so many products and it's necessary for the transportation of goods, it also has a direct influence on inflation. Specifically, higher inflation may cause the Fed to delay its plan for lowering interest rates in June, and this could be interpreted by stock market investors as a bearish signal. We'll keep our eyes on that. There are many factors influ influencing the stock market right now, and we expect more volatility going into the summer with elections. We're well positioned to ride through the uncertainty. Recent headlines require us to manage your portfolio in light of rising oil prices, current uncertainty over the direction of interest rates, recent higher inflation numbers, and strong employment numbers. We'll continue to track these and many other economic issues so that your money is properly invested. Thanks for the trust and confidence that you've placed in me and my team.